Hello and welcome to my review of the Chaos Space Marines Chaos Cultists box set from, for Warhammer 40,000 from Games Workshop. Now, this box set uh, will cost you... Now, this set of 10 Chaos Cultists will cost you £27.50. Consists of 41 plastic components and you get the 10 25mm bases. You're pretty much getting 9 Cultists and 1 Cultist Champion. The format of this review is as usual. I will take a look at all the models uh, individually, look at all the detail, and they are all unique. You don't get any twins in this set of 10, which is awesome. Um, then I'll go through the spare parts, of which you get a couple, but their usage is, is uh, questionable. Um, I'll go through some size comparisons uh, with a load of uh, Chaos Space Marine uh, models. Then I will go through all of their rules. So, uh, first things first then, sort of options. Um, I wanna just uh, take this uh, moment to, to have a look. Um, pretty much, I say what you see is what you get. Uh, it's not quite like the Dark Commune um, in that your, uh, I say champion, I, I guess, um, you, you can pick a different uh, pistol, uh, bolt pistol or auto pistol. So you can pick an auto pistol or a bolt pistol Obviously, you get the bolt pistol, um, and then you can choose the the head. Like this one's got a horn coming out of it. This one is just like just a, you know, um, hood. And then you've got uh, another cultist, uh, which you can have that, like a tentacle arm and a chainsword. Why wouldn't you go for the chainsword? <laughs> uh, and a different head. Uh, whereas this one has kind of like a helmet with some horns or spikes uh, and then you've just got like a big old bowie knife type thing um, and that's it they're the only uh you know options you get in this kit is the option to change one cultist and one uh cultist champion everything else is monopose uh there's even one model that has just two parts and it really is you know disappointing um, because I have high expectations for um, Chaos Space Marines and uh, units, and you, and you should too, especially if they're your main faction, uh, your army that you collect the most. Um, you want to be having uh, most of your kits be multi-part, multi-pose, lots of options, um, lots of spare parts in them, especially when they're almost £30 a pop. Let's not beat around the bush here. These are almost knocking at £3 per uh, per miniature, um, which is which is a fair amount. So that being said, uh, they are lovely looking miniatures. And if you uh, were able to, uh, or you still can, pick up the Blackstone Fortress um, cultist mob, which, <laughs> yeah, strangely only uh, includes eight um, cultists, uh, they will go really, really well with those. I think the Blackstone Fortress ones are more detail, but they are better value because they're still monopose, I think, but they're eight pound cheaper and you're getting eight. So you could get 16 cultists there for 38 pounds, or you'd get 20, so four more, for 55, so that's 17 pounds more. Uh, you could almost get another uh, box set of um, Blackstone Fortress ones, bumping your number up to 24. So all in all, that's a better value kit in isolation. However, it only works if you've already got some cultists as well, and um, because the minimum unit size is the 10. And you can run them in a mob of 20. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that either. I want to see a big mob of 30, especially on these 25 mil bases. You can put a big mob of 30. I'd love to see a big rabble. I honestly don't know what they're thinking at the Games Workshop HQ, having only 20 in a mob. Um, you know, you know. In my mind, Space Marines busting into uh, a complex um, in a hive, and only having sort of 30 would be a low number of um, cultists performing all kinds of blasphemous actions in the, in the dark corners um, would be quite a low number 
uh, according to the law and stories and things, um, you're talking like probably 50 plus, uh, at least on different levels as well. So having 20 seems yeah really quite uh, odd. But anyway, let's have a look at the models individually. So this is the Champion. Uh, I will say that these are, I say thinner, um, thinner and more detailed than the, the old cultists. We did need new cultists, I'll definitely agree there. Um, but I just have high expectations. That's that's the thing. Maybe my expectations are too high, but is it is it much to ask for to have, you know, miniatures with lots of options and um, posability and things? No, they are they do look cool though, you know. And like I say, they'll go very well. They'll go very well with your Blackstone Fortress ones. Um, so that's the champion. Um, just got the bolt pistol. This is the one that you can change as well. So this one has the chainsword, an auto pistol, some grenades, um, so that's her, uh, who else have you got, you've got this one, which I think is female, and this one, so already that's three of them out of the ten, this one's got some kind of like, I don't know, nail thing on a chain, this one was the two piece model so I think only three females, although I'm not sure on that one. Um, but the rest of them are are chaps. Uh, so this one, that looks quite cool, that one, I like that one. You know, some nice action poses in this. This kind of butcher type one. Got this one. With this nail bat. Sort of makeshift weapons and things. I'd like to see more makeshift weapons or actual weapons like little axes and things and hatchets. Um, yeah, maybe this one is a female. Not quite sure on that one. I'd probably say yes for that one. And then this one as well, another butcher type one. I like it when you know, not only are they sort of topless, but they've got like augments and things um, and little, you know, things going on. It's it's not like, oh, we're just topless, you know, cultists. Um, I like it when they, they've they gone that extra, extra mile. Like this one, look, it's got some kind of like entry points there. It's, it's very cool. I like it. So they're your 10 uh, cultists. Um, as I say, uh, would be nice to get a big unit of 20 um, if you're going to be buying a if you're going to be buying multiples of this set they are going to look all exactly the same um, I mean although you get the chainsaw instead of the you know sort of blade um, the rest of them will look exactly the same and it's and it's so difficult to kind of customize these or modify them um, as I said with the dark commune box set uh, they really they really feel like they should have been in some kind of army set for Chaos Space Marines um, because they are monopose single miniatures. Maybe that was the plan and it got waylaid, um, but actually I would have preferred that um, because I would have been, I say, sort of less disappointed and it would have given you more value because you would have been saving a fair amount. Um, you know, can you imagine an army set for Chaos Space Marines with a limited edition version of that codex of these two sets? the uh, Demon Prince, the Torments and Mutilators, and the Chaos Spawn for like, I don't know, £140, maybe even £120, um, but that might be pushing it. I'd probably say um, the Cultist, the Dark Commune, and the uh, Torments and Mut Mutants um, with the Codex for about £120. Uh, but you're not going to save that much if it was just those three sets. Uh, I would have put the possessed in there too. Anyway, I'm going off on a bit of a tangent. Let's have a look at these uh, spare parts. So these are going to go straight into my Chaos Space Marine uh, accessory set. So this is the other side of that uh, female uh, cultist um, with the blade though. And then that's a different um, head helmet. If you can see that. There you go, it's quite cool. Uh, then you've got the auto pistol and a different head for the uh, Cultist Champion. 
So yeah, not many spare parts. I question whether you can use them uh, at all because they're actually heads and not sort of helmets. Um, maybe you could put that like on a base. Mate, uh, no, it doesn't really work, does it? Um, yeah, I question, you know, the usability of these as spare parts. Okay, size comparisons then. I know a few of you wanted me to uh, compare them to like the old uh, cultists from many, many years ago. Here they are. Um, well, here they are. Here's one of them. Uh, he's green. <laughs> uh, so yeah, compared to the old ones, these are a massive improvement. I say massive improvement. They don't have auto guns. They have the pistols and um, close combat weapons. But and I would have liked to have seen two of these kits. Or you know, let's just go for maximum Super Saiyan expectations. Um, one box set of twenty for thirty pound with enough customization to have melee weapons and range weapons that would have been my my dream um but no uh so they're on the same size bases as the old cultists the old cultists are sort of thicker um their detail is kind of molded into the miniature if that makes sense it's like there's not many gaps you can't really see any gaps in in between the arms and things um, it's like a blob of a miniature and normally it's just like one weapon that you glue on. These are much better, much more dynamic poses. Uh, proportions are lovely. Um, there's a lot of emotion in them as well. Like they are cultists and they're charging at you. These are pretty, you know, quite silent and things. The stepping stone for these ones was definitely the Blackstone Fortress ones. I was very impressed with those. Um, but anyway, that's where they kind of measure up you know compared to the champion the old cultists are only a little bit smaller a little bit like a tiny fraction um compared to uh traitor guardsmen let's get one that's sort of stood up i guess uh the cultists are a little bit taller but that guardsman is sort of not fully at his height they're going to be very similar height they're on the same size bases and then finally a pots walker um pots walker are very similar pots walkers probably be a bit taller and a bit more bulkier um if you if you put them in a mob uh of of them uh, nearby so if you've got any death guard and things so that's where they uh compare to you know sort of other chaos space marine sort of similar sized infantry units um next to the uh Dark Commune, the Dark Commune are a fair bit, are a little bit taller, just a little bit. Uh, here's one of the Blessed Blades. They're on the bigger bases as well. But the Dark Commune, you're definitely gonna spot them in there. Um, but I mean, you could put one of these Blessed Blades in there as like a narrative thing, as long as they sort of count as um, cultists, that would be quite cool. Like you could have this as a champion and just ignore the, ignore the weapon. Um, that would work, like you could have one of these sort of lead in a, a mob of 20, um, maybe even put one of these in there. Uh, you know, if you didn't want to use them as a unit, they're, they're gonna be great as like a narrative themed, um, you know, buff for your, for the for this uh, cultist uh, mob. Uh, then a Chaos Space Marine and a Terminator. This is not even funny. Uh, so the Chaos Space Marine is good foot or two taller as you'd expect him to be um and then a terminator is just absolutely what a machine massive absolutely huge so that's where cultists stand next to those and final comparison i'd like to make is just with uh, some imperial models so we've got um Sly Marbo here very similar height size a normal space marine should be similar size bigger than a chaos which it is and then a primaris fair bit bigger and taller so if you're um, going to be going up against an opponent with primaris you know they're going to be sort of dwarfing your your mobs but you want to be getting a big blob of these to tar pit or swamp um primaris if they get close okay so this is my part of the review where i will go through all of the rules uh, for these chaos cultists as i said before uh the start 
you know, there's no reason why you can't just pick up the Blackstone Fortress cultists if you don't have them already, or even throw in uh, a few of the old cultists. But I will warn you, they don't really go particularly well uh, with this cultist um, mob sort of model wise. They are different, um, but rules wise at least, the rules have taken care of uh, the fact that they've got like auto guns and things because they've got, you know, cultist firearm. So uh, they are a troop choice. Uh, they are a power points cost of a two, probably the cheapest or one of the cheapest uh, units in the entire Chaos Space Marine army. They will cost you five points per model. If you wanna give them a grenade launcher, it's an extra five points. Same for Flamer and same for Heavy Stubber. Uh, the unit size consists of 10 to 20 models. So you get nine Chaos Cultists and one Cultist Champion, or you have 19 Cultists and one cultist champion again bit of a shame that we can't have 30 in a mob so the chaos cultist stat line is as follows movement of six inches weapon skill and ballistic skill are both four plus strength and toughness of three one wound one attack leadership five and a save of six plus the champion uh, gets two attacks and a leadership of six if this unit contains 11 to 20 models, it has a power rating of 5. Every model is equipped with an auto pistol, brutal assault weapon, frag grenades and crack grenades. So, um, they're equipped with auto pistols, which are a range of 12 inch, pistol 1, strength 3, AP 0, damage 1. Nothing to write home about. That's going to patter off of Space Marine armor or even Terminator armor like rain on a window. The brutal assault weapon is a melee weapon, strength of the user, which is only three, AP zero, damage one, and each time a bearer fights, it makes one additional attack with this weapon. So you're gonna be getting your two attacks there, each three uh, with the champion. So weight of attacks there, you're gonna be getting about 21 attacks, just off the top of my head. Any number of models can each have their auto pistol and brutal assault weapon replaced with one cultist firearm, uh, which is a 24 inch range rapid fire one, strength three, AP zero, damage one. So it's the same as the auto pistol, but just rapid fire um, at, uh, at double the range. One chaos cultist auto pistol and brutal assault weapon can be replaced with one flamer. One chaos cultist auto pistol and brutal assault weapon can be replaced with one heavy stubber. One Chaos Cultist Auto Pistol and Brutal Assault Weapon can be replaced with one Cultist Grenade Launcher. And the Cultist Champion's Auto Pistol can be replaced with one Bolt Pistol. If this unit contains 15 or mod models, you can select each of these war gear options a second time. So that's the Flame of the Heavy Stubber and the Grenade Launcher. So if you've got 15 or more of them, so if you've got 20 of them, that means you can have two Flamers, two Heavy Stubbers, two Grenade Launchers. And they're not too bad because Flamers, they're good for that Overwatch if they are going to get uh, assaulted. They work as usual, 12 inch assault D6, strength four, AP zero, damage one, it automatically hits. A grenade launcher is a 24 inch assault one, strength six, AP minus one, yay, damage D3. We finally get an AP minus one weapon in here. And then the heavy stubber is a 36 inch range, heavy three, strength four, AP zero, damage one weapon as well. So keywords, chaos, traitorous, Astartes, Infantry, Cultist, Chaos, Infantry, Cultist, Cultist, Mob. So there you go, they were the rules. So there you go, they are the rules for the Cultist Mob. Um, they're all right, you know, uh, they're not gonna do much other than like, probably go on an objective. Uh, they're certainly not gonna be able to hold it. They, uh, I would use them as a unit to tarp hit or slow down um, bigger, more expensive uh, uh, units. Because let's face it, if you've got 10 of them are uh, kind of quite easy to hide, especially on the small bases, um, but 20 of them should be what you're aiming for. I wouldn't, I'd probably put one flamer in there, but I wouldn't bother uh, with any of the other uh, sort of upgrades and things. I mean, obviously if you've got the old cultists, you know, you can have the uh, firearms and things, but when your strength is three and your leadership is so poor and you're basically not getting a save, uh, you've got hardly any attacks. Their main use is cannon fodder uh, for Chaos Space Marines. Uh, and like I say, tying up more expensive units. Let's face it, you know, at 10 models, that's 50 points without any upgrades. Very cheap or 100 points for 20 of them. 
you could have 200 of them for your thousand points put it that way i'm just trying to think of 200 cultists now on the table it's a lot of same looking models isn't it really but you might be going for a thematic army as well um with a lot of troops and things so you know having 200 points or 40 cultists backed up with your dark commune and your accursed cultists um would be a nice looking uh, force especially like city fighting and things i i really would try not to use these uh, on like open battlefields and things because they're just going to get absolutely ripped and you might even just be using them to fill up your uh troop um slots uh you know you can have you can fill up your troop slots with 100 points um and then you can go for all of the expensive stuff like a Lord Discordant and loads of heavy support and things if you really wanted to play it that way. Um, but let's face it, you're not going to be capturing too many objectives and things if you if you uh, go for that tactic. So I do feel I have a purpose in the game. They're very cheap. Um, you can have an all right number of them i would have preferred 30 in a mob but they are very fragile and they're not going to do much uh, damage um either through weight of fire or weight of attacks or anything like that and they might run away so you need to take into account all of those the box set itself is a disappointment uh, much like the dark commune um these were very easy models to put together um like I say, no excuse for having models in here that uh, only consist of two pieces. Uh, I would have liked to have seen, you know, like a multi-part, multi-pose kit, as I've already, as I've previously mentioned, with, you know, auto rifles, things like that, uh, and heavy stubbers and flamers, you name it, all those kind of things. Um, which we were actually getting in the uh, the much older cultist box set. So, like a lot of uh, ninth edition kits, nice miniatures to look at, but lacking in the um, enjoyment of sort of putting them together and um, picking up multiples of the kit. But what do you guys think? Uh, do you agree, or do you think these are perfect in every way? please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Death to the False Emperor.